call it our little house. <laughs> We're going to show you around. A bit about the, the van, the base van. It's a 2007 Peugeot Boxer. Uh, it's 2.2. Uh, we got it really cheap from my godfather. Uh, we've done a few upgrades, not much because it's pretty good. Uh, aftermarket stereo, Amazon, eBay reversing camera, and a nice phone mount. That's about it to be honest in the front. Old swivel chair uh, to be sociable with friends. That's it. You join me in the living room, the living quarters of the van. We have a nice, it's not a lagoon table mount. It's a fake lagoon table mount. It does the same thing. A little table in which you can have over by the sliding chair. You can have it here. It goes up and down. Jobs are good in. We got and the sofa. We've like stuffed a few shopping bags behind the cushions. We've got these big cushions as like sort of the backrest. And I think this is an old cot mattress that Mitch's mum kindly covered for us. And we've got some cute little prints, and these are command stripped on. We love command strips. If something's hung up in this van, it's done with command strips. And they've not actually, touch wood, fallen off yet. <laughs> we've not had any issues. Um, we've got under here, there's our Chinese diesel heater is behind all of this. And we store our shoes. Under and here. Socks. And there's a bunch of socks in there because we haven't tied it up. Are yours actually, Mitch? And we're in the kitchen area of the van. This is like my domain. I think you, uh, I get scared when you're in the kitchen. We have a Thetford Triple X oven hob combo thing. And it's got three burners, it might be a bit dirty, <laughs> um, and you can cover them up, and we've got an oven, grill, it's not done us wrong, we really like it, don't we? Mm, we it have is good. Underneath, oh, underneath the oven, we have the um, pans, pots and pans, and we all of our drawers have these like little, sort of magnetic child locks on, so they don't fly open when we're driving. And they've been really good. And I mean, sometimes we forget to lock them, mm. so they do fly open when we're driving. But it's never that big a deal. We have, we installed a little fruit basket because all of our fruit was getting like all bruised in the drawers. So got, and it's turned into some kind of makeshift sunglasses rack <laughs> as well. You know, in case you Boom. feel like you need these. There she is. <laughs> We've got, um, a few utensils hung up here. We never use those ones. Nah, they're just there for looks, dude. Decoration. Own it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an IKEA sink. So this is a proper worktop. Wix. A Wix kitchen worktop. You built the cabinets, mm. but the doors are like kitchen doors from I think Howden's. And these two are just food. That one's locked. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just, well, empty. Empty. <laughs> and we've got a proper IKEA kitchen sink, and I love this. This is like one of my favourite things about the van. We've got a chopping board from IKEA that conveniently fits on top of there. Perfectly. Perfectly. It's. I don't think they're meant to fit. No, it they just, just do. Happen, happen that way. So we have a chopping board that can use on there, and it helps hide washing up if we've got dirty dishes. I mean, there isn't any at the minute. We've got. Wash up the essentials. And it's nice, you can fit pots and pans in there and just forget about them. Mm. We have a nifty little shower tap. Hot running water, can oh. we say? At mint, well, water heater's not on, but it is here. So we have a carver water heater that we got from the circus. Yeah, we did. It, well, I mean, this little cupboard, actually, it's just a bit of a box of tricks. Mm -hmm. We've got all the fuses and things are behind here. We've got, this is our water tank. So we have, oh, it's a bit empty. It's 90 litres. Yeah. 90 litres fresh water tank that's under slung. This is a air card from France. Um, this is our solar panel controller. How many watts of solar is on the roof? 300. 300 watts of solar. They're all on the roof. Yeah. And our little guy is quite happy at the minute. 
this is our we have an underslung lpg tank and we need some more lpg soon by the looks of that yeah <laughs> so underslung lpg tank and that's really handy actually not having to refill a gas bottle is a bit of a luxury mm. our old, our last van we had to refill the camping gas bottles and that was a pain yeah this little dimmer switch here is for the lights so they yeah. brighten and dim yeah you can see that even though it's daylight <laughs> yeah and this one is to make the we have a fan and the fan is rather dirty at the minute but cleaning it's a pain to make the fan go quicker or quicker slower, or slower. Well, I mean, can't I open it it does you just need to like oh, it's, get stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> So if you put it on high to that speed, but then if you twizzle the knob, it goes slower and so faster. We did used to have a different fan that didn't have a control on how fast or slow it could go. Mm. So we changed the fan since then, but we still have the switch connected. So handy having your dad as an electrician. Yeah. Ali ex AliExpress. Got... Hell yeah. AliExpress. Well, it's good to be fair. It's yeah. not... Cheap as well. Yeah. yeah. It's... Um, we've got the... This is the Chinese diesel heater controller. And then we just have a bit of everything. We've got some tissues, nice and clean. We've got some styrofoam paper, playing cards. We have some styrofoam. Is that a tea for water? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Handy. So, USB adapter for a USB adapter. Um, and then this. Oh, there you go. All your essentials. Control cupboard, and is there anything I missed? Oh, under here. The bin. The bin. We have bin, which is like it's just a handy little compost bin from IKEA. Tea towels, some air freshener in case you know Mitch does a fat poo or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a draining rack and sort of like this absorbent pad thing that goes underneath. Just it's handy. We'll washing up. Nice. So. Coming in from the living room, we have the study uh, and the sort of second mini bit of kitchen, I suppose. Uh, this has a larder cupboard, you know, for all the spices, sauces, and oils and whatnot. That's really handy, fits loads in. Uh, we've got a cutlery drawer uh, here for all our cutlery. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, what do you know? Then we have the uh, Domain fridge, which has all these little nice little magnets on it from everywhere we've been. Well, not everywhere, but some of the places we've been. Uh, nice little Highland Curl there. Look. That's Roger. He Roger. came from Sky. He did. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, loads of other places. Uh, this is where we also keep the magnet that opens all the drawers. Got a spare one there in case, you know, we miss, we lose one because we probably will. There's the fridge. You know, holds quite a lot actually for a little fridge. Yeah, it's got quite... a little freezer. Yeah, you've got a little freezer section. We can have ice cream. Oh, there is an ice lolly in there. Yeah, two. Oh. Result. <laughs> uh, yeah, then we've got like a little bookshelf, mirror, little wall hanging. Behind the wall hanging, there's a plug so we can use when we've got a hook up or when I finally buy an inverter. Uh, uh, USB points, charge phone, little 12 volt plug there, which I probably need to change to USB points because we never use that. Uh, then we've got the wardrobe that holds lots of clothes. I'm not going to show you, but you Trust me, it holds a lot of clothes. And then down here... Is it because it's a mess? <laughs> it's a mess. And then down here, we have a nice little slide out toilet. You can sit on just like this. And you've got a nice throne with a view. It's not it's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right then, so you're joining me where the magic happens. <laughs> We've got a full double bed, and this honestly is comfier than my bed at home. We have an IKEA mattress on like actual proper bed slats, and I feel like that makes all the difference. Um, we we had a rock and roll bed in our old van, and that was horrible. And got like a little blanket jobby, and having the bed is fixed, so it's up all the time, and it's quite high because of where the supports sit. But we're younger than nimble, we just jump up. <laughs> it's never really been a problem for us. Um, got cute little fairy lights. They're not plugged in at the minute, but little vine fairy lights. Got another fake plant. <laughs> got a little spice, these spice, I'm pretty sure everybody with a van uses this little shelf from Ikea. And this is ours. 
We've got a little picture from, I think that's Glencoe. Mm. A little... Palm tree snow globe. Palm tree snow globe. Everyone wow. needs one of them. <laughs> and we've got a little shelf that is a mess, but it's kind of really hard for it to be tidy because every time we drive, Everything does just fall off it. Yeah. It's, it's one of them. We just we just put up with it. I think. What a cute little. Oh, my mum got us these little little coasters. Oh, look at that. Oh, mm, cute. Yeah. And just shells, random trinkets, a little wooden mushroom, um, a rock with my name on it. <laughs> just you know the essentials. Oh, carbon monoxide alarm as well. He's just shoved up there. <laughs> just shoved up there. <laughs> In. I mean, it does the same job whether it's mounted on the wall, or on the shelf, on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. Exhibit A of everything falling off. Um, we have by the beds. We have two USB ports either side, mm -hmm. and the main light switch, so we don't have to do the scared little run in the dark <laughs> to the bed. And we have little reading lights. Hmm. That we don't really use that much they are very very bright <laughs> too bright they're too bright really but um i think for the back of here i've got a little skylight um at the back so that is literally just a mosquito net and mm. light but it's really nice when we've got the fan on because it sort of helps air circulate through We've got my clothes cupboards. So I have these two and they are smaller than Mitch's. So most of my clothes, I have most of the wardrobe space as well. Mm. Pretty much all of the wardrobe space. Um, we've got toiletries in here in these little makeup wipes, toothbrushes, that sort of thing. We've got, um, what else is in here? Right, we've got plates, an apple slicer, some bowls, wine glass. Everything's plastic because it's a van. I don't like a break store. Got Mitch's clothes cupboards that are, are a mess. mess. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. Oh, actually, something that's pretty cool is this. We have a little projector so we can have movie nights in the van. Mm. It's a little Kodak Luma projector. I think it's Luma. Is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that. It doesn't have a name on it. Yes, it is Luma. It's a Luma 150. And it, we, we have to do like a little bit of a performance performance it's all right, <laughs> to, get the, to get it to like be in the right place but it's all right we've got a little no wrinkle projector screen that we can put up yeah using these little and then we're, we're good to go really that's and that's our little movie night setup yeah and this is the garage which is probably my favourite bit. This is your domain, for sure. Yeah, it's the place I spend the most time cleaning. It's, it's pretty good at the minute, because we haven't got everything in. Uh, so yeah, it's a big space. Like, it fits a lot. We've got this truck here, which has like all our tools, uh, like uh, oil, spare parts, stuff like that. Stuff to keep the van going. Also houses like wetsuits and like anything that's wet. Um, over here, there's more plugs that we can activate from the uh, 240 volt hookup, which is here. Uh, we have two uh, EFB leisure batteries, which are actually really good. They're holding up really well. Uh, there's the battery and solar uh, breakers. Then we've got a little solar controller here, which shows us uh, how the batteries are doing. So we've got like 100% and 96% at the minute. 13.6 uh, volts. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, that's another heater outlet to keep everything in the garage nice and cosy. Uh, something gets mouldy. We've got one shock. Uh, <laughs> Why do we only one. have one, Mitch? We, I drove off with one still up in the ground with Anderson. Uh, the shower hookup point, the bullfinch hookup point, which is really good actually. You just plug the shower into this little point, turn it on. Oh, that. Water. Oh, mind water. my feet. <laughs> and then we've got two hooks here and here. And then we can put a shower curtain here. Uh, so we can have private showers in the back, nice little bamboo mat that we can stand on for a shower. Oh, it's great. It's so functional. It's a good little setup, actually. It works really well. Yeah. And we've got the hose. We've got filling in water from any taps that we find. In the UK, it's hard. <laughs> in Europe, it's easier. Yeah, we've got all the water out there. Yeah, we've got a little 
What else have we got? We've got a, a switch there for the water pump. The water pump's behind here, along with the accumulator and all that. We've got a little light switch there, so we can see what we're doing in the garage. Can't really tell, it's daylight. But we've got two paddle boards in there. Yeah, it fits loads. We normally fit two paddle boards, two e-bikes, uh, this truck and everything, everything we need is all, always with us, so it's all good. We've got a little hook for the backpack. Yeah, you yeah, know, that's about it for the garage. Fits all our toys nicely, all our doesn't toys. it? <laughs> yeah. Follow me right here. This is the Carver water heater. Nice, cheap jobby. Does the job nicely, and that's where we fill our water tanks. So, yeah, I love it. Forgot to mention our little tiles. This These... is Lucy's favourite bit. Oh, that is definitely favorite, my favourite bit. All of this. No, no, no. That. We got these in a little town called Collier in France from this little old lady. And it was just Mitch and Lucy, obs. And we like summer, so we've got suns. <laughs> and they're all just on there. This switch, it doesn't do anything, it's just there. <laughs> It was meant to do something. And I think one of these doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That was, again, meant to do something. Do anything. <laughs> and we've got these that, again, don't do anything. Oh, we've got that some... does something. Does it? What does it do? One of them turns the light on in there. Oh, yes, which brings us to our overhead cupboard. Which, we forgot about. Yes, we forgot about. I, we hate opening this cupboard. It has coats, towels, and sort of just everything stuff. Everything big and bulky. Yeah, everything yeah. big and bulky that we don't know where to put goes in there. Yeah. Right then, do you want to try and get that back on? Yeah. This one's secured with roller catches because there was an issue with getting the hinges to, you know, Work fit. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of brings us to the end of our little van tour. There's yeah. not really that much to show because it's so little. It's a little how house. Many, how many square meters would you say? <laughs> I don't know. I, have no I don't idea. know how people it's know It's little. This. <laughs> I, yeah, I yeah. don't know how, how people just, some people's minds just work that way. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's, it's, it's little. But it's, it's enough for us. It's our, it was an old carpet van before yeah. we had it. And we can pop some pictures of the conversion, like the processing. You and your dad did everything. Yeah. Pretty much. I held a paintbrush like twice. Yeah. I fitted some magnet catches. You picked everything. Oh yeah. I did the fun everything. bit. <laughs> Handles, all this, these. Everything. So I did the fun bit. Yeah, for you sure. did the fun bit, definitely. Yeah, and we did. It used to look a bit different. We had a little bit of a different colour scheme, mm. and then this is definitely my favourite iteration. Oh, for sure. But yeah, the com the whole conversion, we've not we've not really spared too much expense on stuff like the water tank, mm. the cooker. cooker, fridge. Well, I mean, the fridge, we had the smallest to make fridge, but... And the fan's from China. And the fan is from China. But the con whole conversion, or one million percent, has not gone over 10 grand. No, not a chance. No, including more... the cost of the van. Yeah, I'd say it's close to we seven. We did get the van, like, on My, my guess is seven, <laughs> seven grand-ish, all in, which is really good. Considering <laughs> these go for stupid money. Yeah, they do. But... This is ours. It, a lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time. It did time. take a lot of time. The whole conversion, well, Mark 1, was done in three months. Yeah, yeah about that. It took you about three months. Mm. I say you, because I, I, I was a little bit of help. Mm. Oh, yeah. I put that the shelf on the back doors. I put that up, that little spice rack. What else have I done? Uh, you can probably name the jobs I did on the conversion on one hand. Uh, Sorry about that. You still some thinking? handles. I did put on some handles, some uh, door handles. I did a couple of coats of paint. Yeah, a couple of coats of paint. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't do that much. A but lot we of love it. Research. Yeah. Yeah. The layout, we don't have, we have an inside toilet and we have an outdoor shower. So we have bathroom sort of facilities, but we don't have a bathroom in the van. And I think mm. that was, that was mainly because space. I love how open it is. Mm. <laughs> I think it's really important if you're living in such a tight space with someone else. Have your own little area. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> For sure. I don't think there's much much else to say. No. Apart from, we love it. We do love it. Um, please don't be mean. <laughs> and in August, we are going to be living in it full time. This is very exciting. Yeah.
yeah, in August we're going Spain and we're Portugal. Just going. Warm, warmer climates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. very exciting. And you'll have to stay tuned for those videos. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope that you haven't been bored from our waffling. I could talk about this farm for days. <laughs> yeah. Literally yeah. days. Bye! Bye!